Hello everybody and welcome back to Dust. I'm the Seventh Sword and um, as you probably saw in the last video there was a little bit of a glitch at the very beginning. I was lucky that it did not persist for the rest of that entire video but that was the glitch that I was talking about that for whatever reason is only happening with all my Elgato recordings. It actually happened when I started this recording earlier so when I talked to this uh, this animal woman um, it got all gobbledy up, so I'm gonna reenact it for you. Hello, miss. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Is there a village nearby? Why, yes, there's one just up the road, but I think... I think I heard a scream. The monster's there. They've been getting closer and closer. Oh my god, it's just... it's terrible. You're right. I think I heard someone scream. We gotta go. That's pretty much what happened. Alright, so now we're going. Da -na 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 -na. Gotta go save a person. And this is a save point, which means I could have just talked to her in the last part, but I didn't even realize. So I'm gonna save. Overridden. All right, let's go. Hello, bunny. More bunnies. Look! Please help us. I will. Oh, you're on your own. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Do it! Oh! Almost there already? You did a lot of damage to me. Come on. What do you think you can do? Whoa, I'm out of dash move. Okay, I gotta wait for that to recharge, right? You're stunned. No. Oh, you got rid of my chain. You're gonna regret that. First boss of the no game way. defeated. That's not all of them. What? Uh, here comes some more. Bring it on. Oh. All right. Okay. All right, game. Come on. Come on. Oh, my chain. A lot of cupcakes at this rate. Oh, they do so much damage with one hit. Hold on a minute. Please wait one moment. Where's my. Yes, hold on. Resume game. I not. Oh, there we go. Yes, inventory. Do I have anything else to equip here? I do. Okay. Chicken. Chicken! Wow, one hit. Okay, I gotta... Oh! I've been using a lot of healing, healing items for this battle. What? Oh, come on. Made it. Just barely made that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Well but done, wait, there's more five more you here. You've proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. Oh. You know, if I had to. In this respect. You just oh, happened to use the number that I was thinking so of. Much. Interesting game. What happened to Interesting. You? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. 
Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <laughs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Yes, yeah, I did. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? Well, I mean, you didn't really stand a chance, Mr. Bunny Man. And since when was that our job? You think you're acting like we're like a team now. Like we've always been doing this since the dawn of time. I should probably heal. There we go. I'm so used to start upgrading complete. No, I guess I, I should probably upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my health because that's the smart thing to do. Yes. Perfect. And then I can go to. Nope. I'm gonna keep doing that. Alright. Hmm, inventory. Perfect. Feeble fruit, I guess it. Whoop. Feeble fruit it is. Ooh, I have some health back. I don't know from how, but I do. Oh, from probably leveling up my health. Oh, yes. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. I go to quests, I can hit R2, and there is the note that I picked up. It's called Leap of Faith. I'm gonna start reading these, actually. So I'm gonna start with this one. They chased and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I've made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my knee, I'm gonna go with knee, they caught up, they caught up with me at that headless statue, surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go. I climbed up to the hand and made a leap of faith. He's probably okay. Probably gonna run into that guy later. Chapter 1. Destiny. That was a cool chapter introduction, I have to say. Aurora Village. A new region has been revealed. Yay! Is this a peaceful place? I can slash, so I'm wondering. Hey! Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. <laughs> they were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. Well, that must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. What are you if trying you to say? I had something to do with this attack. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in. They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. At least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation! Ore deposits in the mountains. You know, gold, silver, um, ding, ding, ding. prospectors, eh? You're certainly well armed for the job. Mangonite. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. So close to magnetite. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is B. There's not much here. But Hello, Bean. You have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Does your merchant happen to be in a dark tent and kind of creepy? By the way, um, not many people are probably going to get my magnet, magnum, uh, tight reference. That's uh, my Prospectors, Zelda Let's Play. Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with. It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. 
Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. What the hell is that card doing? Something, something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. We'll be fine. We have... We have this sword and this spinning attack. Yeah! Characters with feathers over their head are quest givers. Speak to them to open up quests and new regions throughout the world. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Is there a save point in this village somewhere? I need to save at a point of saving. Saving point? I'm sure there's one outside the village, like right here, hopefully. Oh, this isn't even outside the village. All right, I'll talk to you, Mr. Feather, in a bit. I need to find a save point. You are also a feather person. There are a lot of feather people. Hi there. Hello. Well, hello. Uh, you're a quiet one. Dust, manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, uh, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. Downer. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. You like her, Just. You're like attracted to her or something. You're all like, oh my god, no, please don't talk to me. <gasps> You're beautiful, but I... <sighs> He's like sweating. <laughs> Need to find the same point. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh no, he's got a dark evilness stirring within him. Am I gonna fight a dark dust? Alright, well clearly I'm not finding a save point, so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and cut it here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.